Good morning. We are back here in the prison. What are my items here? The pistol. Ooh. Oh, okay. My view. Well, I zoomed in when I swapped to the pistol. So one of the things I was hoping to see, and I think it's still there, is item duping. Item duplication. Because I think some of that stuff has duplicated. Uh, what I should have done was left out my 22 pistol ammo. <laughs> that way that could have duplicated so I could more easily fight my way out of the prison, which is what we're stuck in. So we came here. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday, the day before, I forget when it was, but uh, there were a lot of zombies. Oops. So I just want to, uh, oh, persnickety. Oh. All right, there we go. Now, let's just check. Yeah, see, the infection level reset, my hunger level reset. Which, I mean, is a known issue with the game. So it's not like the developers don't know about it. But I'm thinking in these early stages of the game where, you know, there's a lot of other bugs. You know, we're not going to be too upset about that. Um, since there's no way currently to fix infection. You know, th these are things we've talked about before. And we'll just go ahead and accept that as a gift based on the fact that since so many other things are broke, we'll go ahead and take that as a little gift from the developers. The item duplication, I mean, part of me is glad it's there for some of the same reason, you know, since we have a lot of other bugs in the game, I'll take the gift, you know. Once we really start to sort out bugs and problems, then we'll, we'll be okay if they get rid of item duplication. Now usually, these are all empty, so I don't usually bother checking them. And it looks like they still continue to be empty. I will say though, um, depending on your lighting, with all their new grass, it might be a little more difficult to find stuff. And I'm not too sure that the prison would be this overrun with grass. I don't know if that's a on purpose thing or they haven't quite got the solid floors of the prison worked out yet yeah and these are usually empty I'm just gonna see if there's something in the very back although it does seem like the zombie population has thinned out a bit which is great because when we when we came in here wow I mean there were a lot they might have wandered off. <laughs> they got bored trying to find me. Although, speaking of the uh, terrain, at least the prison seems to be all on flat land. Uh, that's something that has really, really been fixed. I remember we've, we've gone in some prisons that were just ridiculously set up the way things were floating, and uh, it was just, just crazy craziness. Now, how's my... I dropped the 357 because it ran out of ammo. So I'm not going to worry about picking up 357 ammo. There was a pistol for it, but I'm not going to carry. Oh, hello, library. There's usually not much in the library. Sorry to disturb you. I think we're pretty much done. This, this, this building in the prison was a lot less crowded with zombies than the other one. The only other thing we haven't done was examine the towers. And usually up in the towers, I don't find a lot of 22 ammo. Generally, it's like a rifle with a scope that I find. Hello. Well, I'm a bad shot today. Oh, gosh dang it. Where did you come from? Nice. Let's 
get out of here. Yeah, see, check out all them zombies just mingling there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at the herd. You see, if I had enough ammo, I mean, I could just camp out in a tower and just shoot down into there. <laughs> and then, you know, log out, log back in, hope the ammo reduped, you know. Oh, they're on the inner wall. And then just look how many are there on that wall. Then all along that hill. Crazy. So let's get out of here. Yeah, man. Now there was another prison that I'm going to ignore. Don't need it. So we're going to go back. I think probably what would be the smartest thing is actually what do we got? Yeah, a little bit of stuff. I might drop off a few items at my. Let me hit the Leland's. Ah, tough choices. Let me go ahead and start hitting some of these houses, because you know, in my ideal version of the like the zombie survival thing is picking an area clean before having to set out on a permanent journey to find another settlement. So why don't we hit a couple of these houses? Now see, when it's like one or two zombies, that's not an issue at all. You know, just walk on past. But that prison, whew, wow, that was, that was pretty tight. That probably would have been great to have the, like the katana, or maybe even the fire axe, because when it swings, it hits multiple, and you just kind of push them back as you're hitting on them. Oh, let's see. I don't know why I just am not a fan of the bicycle. All right. Now, I don't have the skinning knife. See, I shot a, a buck the other day, and then I had nothing to skin it with. Hello, 5.56 ammo. 22. That's what we're looking for. Let's top off here. Now, if you've not seen the game before, the, uh, the way that you... Someone taught me this in a comment, but the way that you fully load all the magazines is you start from the inventory screen and then you hit reload. If you hit reload when you're out in the actual game part, you only reload the magazine you're currently using. And the way it works is every weapon has a certain amount of magazines that are assigned to it. So like this 22 pistol has five magazines and each magazine holds 10 rounds. Then if you were to swap over say to this here, uh, the sandstone rifle, it has three magazines that hold 30 rounds each. So each weapon has just a little bit different kind of ammo capacity, but it kind of bridges that gap between just a, a fantasy game, kind of like I call Battlefield 4 like a fantasy game because you just hit reload and it automatically reloads and recalculates how much ammo you're carrying in your backpack. But this, you've actually got to worry about making space for the, the ammo box and you actually have to load magazines. Uh, it's a good compromise. I like the system a lot. That's what helps make this, give it that simulation feel and not just an arcadey feel to it. Me and doors don't get along too well. But that was one reason I like the 22. It fires quick. Uh, it is fairly accurate when you <laughs> don't take the time to aim. I just, sometimes I get nervous and just start shooting. I'm gonna get some more 12 gauge ammo. Because I did have the shotgun. That should be a bathroom. And these house layouts are pretty standard. This room never has anything in it. I... Yeah, I don't remember this one having an upstairs. It. Some of the houses look like they might have a second floor. Oof, hi. But then, they usually don't. Let's see. Oh, uh, those all shut behind me. Maybe we can come out this way. Yeah, it's not as bad. 
Yeah, definitely a lot more zombies than some of the other places we've been to, but I mean, that's that's what I want. What I need to do, though, uh, I should have grabbed it from the prison. I didn't. I should have gone ahead and grabbed the rifle ammo, not the, the M16 rifle ammo, but like the uh, sniper rifle ammo, because if I do decide to you know, really stay in that farm, the uh, barn is really good defensively. Do I have matches? I don't have matches. And with a scoped rifle I can really engage targets from far away. Although it looks like this might be the weapon of choice. I think we're gonna go ahead and drop that police baton. Yeah, the zombies here sound really, really well. So they, they already know I'm in the home, but for sure they know now. <laughs> Just in case someone's got a rifle hiding. Now, I usually don't check these rooms because they're the bathrooms, and about the only thing you ever find is a plunger. Plunger does not make a great weapon. I've tried. So I think I'm pretty good for this home. Did I check back here? Hmm. Is that, are you at this door? Turn the flashlight off. All right, so let's head on back since I was getting full. And we'll take a look at setting up the barn. I believe, I hope, I'm always getting lost. I hope that the barn is out this way. Now one thing I found, and this might sound kind of weird. Um, I have a lot of, was having a lot of random stutter when we played. And I think you saw as I was playing, there was just a lot of uh, frame rate. Hits. I'm getting a little bit of that here. I just hit a spot and my hard drive started chugging. But yeah, there's my farm. One thing I did and seems to be helping me a little bit was I had downloaded the uh, the Razer Game Booster a while ago because you know it said it helps your gameplay improvement. But actually, when I'm streaming and have that Game Razer going. I, or not stream it, but like recording the video, it really seems to mess actually with my frame rate. So I've turned the game booster off, and just for recording, my frame rate has improved quite a bit. So, yeah, I don't. If you've been curious about getting the game booster, I honestly didn't notice a whole lot of improvement with it. You know, call me gullible. Um, but I always thought, well, hey, you know. If I can eke out just a little bit more performance, but I think the way that it works, it definitely interferes with my recording and playing. So I just turn that off. Uh, but I still get some moments where it has to draw things in and my hard drive chugs for a little bit. And I think this is what it's going to be like when they have this the seamless world refresh is you'll just get a lot of stutter in your game as it loads in the resources. And I still, I, th I think it'll be a pretty cool concept because that's just going to help kind of lend to that feeling of like a seamless world. You know, a lot of times we talk about that with some online role-playing games. The idea between zones, like you, you go a certain distance and it loads in a whole new zone versus a seamless world where wherever you go, the game just continues playing. Um this then is going to have kind of that potential to be that that seamless world once they get rid of those refresh screens and you might just have the occasional slowdown or chug down of your hard drive as it you know refreshes assets and stuff like that uh, it'll definitely make it feel a lot more seamless and I, I think that's cool now what is that <laughs> I see like two posts and some plywood sheets? Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, okay. That's a gift. Now, see, what's cool is, see, up there was the prison, but down here, I have an office building, more houses, another Leland's, and I think, you can't see it through the cornfield, but there was another, another group of houses, another office building. Uh, yeah, this is a great spot. And that might be a Leland's there. Once I come up here, let me climb up here, I might be able to see better. Kind of dark in here. So this is the new barn. We, we came into a barn earlier. This isn't my first time seeing the new barn, but uh, it, is, oops, it is a little bit different layout. Oh, look. There's a bow up there. I just got to figure out how to get up there. See, I like... <laughs> oh, they'll let me reach it. I'll leave it there for now. I don't know. I don't see the arrows. That might be arrows right there. There we go. Look, another Leland's. Perfect. So this is why I want the scoped rifle. So let me let me put the uh, let's put this one on. So just again, quite quickly point out that magazine system. I got three magazines. They hold 30 rounds each. I've only got three rounds. When I hit the reload button from here, it's going to fill that first magazine with 30 rounds and then continue to fill until I run out of bullets. Now, I have quite a bit of ammunition. I don't think I have enough to completely fill the full 90 rounds. He's going to be doing this for a while. But see, with the scoped rifle, uh, if I had zombies following me, it's just so easy just to pick them off at distance. That's why I should have grabbed the scoped rifle and uh, rifle ammunition while I was there at the prison because they always have a lot of that stuff. Especially up in the towers, when you go up into the tower, you can usually find some rifles that um, also some ammunition laying right, right there. So that, on hindsight, that was not a good trip to the prison. <clears throat> now fortunately though, as I go through these houses, it's quite possible that I might get another scoped rifle and then continue to get a lot of that ammunition. Now luckily here, there's not a lot of zombie presence. It's not a very strong zombie presence at all. So, you know, that, that scoped rifle might not even be necessary. Um, but I have known in the past that th they just have a way of finding me no matter where I'm at. So, I mean, I can take a quick peek. But see, that's why I love this barn. I'm up here on the second floor. The old barn had a ramp. And the zombies could actually come up the ramp. But here, because it's ladders, I have yet to see a zombie climb a ladder. I'm not asking for that feature. So <laughs> so don't worry about putting that in, Jeff Keen, Richard Keen. You guys just leave leave the ladder climbing zombies out. So that's why I think that this barn, version 2 barn, is going to be a much better defensible spot. Uh, now I got all this hay, but what's cool is what I did in my other barn was I actually just picked like a corner of the barn and then that's where I started to unload equipment. So what we'll do here, got some ammo, I'm going to, I'm going to put that down because it might dupe and again, drop some of this. And what I did with my old setup was like one part of the barn was like all the ammo and weapons and another part was food I don't need to duplicate shotgun necessarily a book of matches is pretty good that was rotten food now this is something in the past when you had like some rotten food and it duped sometimes it would duplicate and make non rotten food so if I'm lucky I'll end up with some good food and we'll go ahead and oh and I just said I would drop my food elsewhere but We'll sort that out later. Let's just organize the bags here. Um, let's go ahead and drop that and we'll see if it duplicates. Yes, I am trying to take advantage of game mechanics as they currently stand in the game. Yes, that's me. <laughs> I am one of those guys. Now when you have the big fire axe, 
you don't necessarily need the small hatchet so I'm going to drop the hatchet and hope it doesn't fall into the world because this fire axe is great for combat it's great for chopping down the trees I mean it's it's everything and then keep the hammer with me uh, this this is pretty good the I'll take the shotgun I'm gonna keep it on me because again if I step out I might just go ahead and grab some shotgun ammo no because I've got lots of them yeah, we'll just forget that I got lots of ammo here that's 90 rounds and then I got like 48 rounds right here that, that's a lot of rounds to go checking out a couple places not the prison this is a good loadout so the next time we head out we've got room to pick up some supplies uh, my food my hunger bar will reset so you know if some of these cans of food regenerate great or duplicate I might take a can of food with me when I go adventuring but when I go out into the houses I'll be able to find food and stuff like that so that that was great getting out of the prison was actually pretty simple I'm not gonna complain and now we're in a great spot that uh, when we come back because the time of day saves itself we'll be able to head out in darkness to go and start exploring some new spots and I'll just have to remember kinda like what direction we're heading when we go out so I'll have to know okay north is the place I'm exploring first and then you know just kinda be systematic about the adventuring and come back and start to stockpile this place for the apocalypse now there's all kinds of debate like how boring is that gonna be because once you've got plenty of food plenty of ammo there's no zombies there's no players out killing you what's there left to do we always find things to do plus we should start getting some hot fixes soon that might change gameplay a little bit because every little hot fix is possibly a bug or two that they squash and I'm always checking on the barricading because barricading to me that's what's definitely gonna change the game and make it so that it has some replayability so yeah I might have my supplies and stuff but when barricading's fixed with their barricading system you can actually make I'm hoping you can actually make a structure so plenty of stuff to do plenty of stuff to do but we'll end it there flashlights dead that's a good cue to go ahead and cut it for the day so I will talk to everybody later all right well let's see if this quits my hotkey wrong hotkey okay this time for sure all right see y'all later bye